Bless you, viewers of the Gates of Destiny. As you're watching this program, just know that you are in the labor world of destiny. Like how the senior midwife, Apostle Paul Kamba, would emphasize, every ministry is sent by God for a purpose, and we are primarily sent to ensure that the plan of God for your life, which is destiny, is brought forth. Given the nature of God's grace, we have a prophetic platform through which destinies are pushed to actualization. It is three days of fasting and prayer, 72 hours where we invite all viewers who believe that they are due to giving birth to their businesses, marriages, jobs, or even their promotions. Please join us from the 1st, 2nd to the 3rd of next month. To facilitate prayer, we have monthly publications called hotlines. There you will find prayer points, testimonies, and a lot more. Also, we have CDs and DVDs of previous push programs. They will strengthen and energize your spirit as you keep on listening to them in preparation for your own testimony. During the PUSH programs, we are streaming live on our website, www.dmccministries.org. Please do send your names and prayer requests on our website. We will get back to you as we prepare spiritually for your coming. We cannot wait to see you here at the Labor Word of Destiny. Good day. I greet everybody in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, it's a privilege and an honor to stand here today. Um, I heard about uh, DMCC on uh, Radio Rainbow, and um, I connected with them via email uh, since last year, early last year. But something wonderful happened in November with the November push. I've never been on the push. It's my prayers, and I actually send an email through, please pray for me so that I can convince my family and let them understand that I'm coming to the push and I don't want to be disturbed. Um, but the, uh, during the push, November push, um, I cannot remember her name, but uh, it's Pastor's uh, Dudu, yes. She sent me an email with the prayer, the, the, the November prayer push um, uh, email. She uh, uh, emailed me that. And that night, it was the 3rd of November, uh, the 3rd of December, that push came through. I sat with that prayer, and I went through it, that prayer points. I think I went through it three times. And the third time when I went through it, because I think a, a pastor wrote in one of the books or one of the emails that you must say the lines three times. And I went three times through the, uh, uh, through the uh, prayer. And something happened that night. I was sitting with my back towards the kitchen, my kitchen, uh, um, the kitchen door. And there was like, I don't know, I can't describe it. It was like a big bird or something that's flying away in my spiritual eye. I can actually feel and see the wings. I can feel that thing moving away from my house. Spiritually, I can see it, how it flies away from my my house. December 2015 was the best day, best period in my house, in my family. You know, normally there is, normally there is uh, friction, there's conflict, there's hostility, and you know, people just don't agree in the house. But I'm telling you, this last December was the best. Up till now, it was the best period in my house with my family, in my marriage, in my business, in everything that I'm doing. My heart's desire is to attend this PUSH program to push the gates that is still there at my house. And I thank the Lord for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you, viewers of Gates of Destiny program. It's your host, Apostle Paul Kamba, bringing you timeless revelations, maximize destiny. These are the middle of chambers, home of signs and wonders, revelation and power, healing and deliverance. This is a program that brings prophetic agendas that bring believers to a place of victory. We have different platforms in the body of Christ. We have evangelistic platforms, pastoral platforms, every kind of platforms, but we've been missing a prophetic platform where believers actualize destiny. 
Every time you hear prophetic agenda, God has particularly brought in an anointing to bring believers to a place of fulfillment of their destiny. On the program, there is a young lady called Katarina that interested me. That's what I'm going to be speaking to her about her experience on the PUSH program. Welcome. Thank you. Tell us your name and how you came to know this ministry. My name is Katarina. Um, I was actually invited here by my mom, but it's the first time that I've ever felt at home in a church. What happened? You told me you did the PUSH program 72 hours no food, no water. Yeah, um, I like food, so it was very difficult to start it off. But the more you go into it, I was actually a little afraid that maybe I'll get weaker. But I actually found myself getting stronger. And being in the PUSH program, definitely, it was a different revelation for me because I felt things that I've never felt before. So um, my stomach would feel like it's burning. Um, I shake a lot of the time. And even during praise and worship, Tears would just be flowing and there would be this overwhelming amount of just love. I would feel it flowing. Um, something that actually happened also when I was at work was I couldn't stop laughing. I just kept laughing and I didn't get what was funny. And I was trying to explain to my coworker that it's not funny. Something's not funny, but I can't stop laughing. How old are you? At I'm 18. You are 18. Yes. You did 72 hours. Yes. No food. No water. Yes. You've been in church for a long time. What happened? What is the experience between the push program and church before? I never really felt anything before. So even when pastor would preach, it wouldn't really register that it's also a message for me until I came here and until I experienced the push program. Only then when pastor, when you would pray or when you would preach, it would click to me certain things about me that came into light. And when I was praying now, I was praying with a different sort of consciousness during the PUSH program. A different consciousness. Yes. Tell us, day by day, three yes. days is a long time to fast Very and long. pray. What happened on the first day, on the second day, and on the third day? The first day, so we had prayer time scheduled. So um, the first day, I was okay, I was a little bit shaky. Um, but it was the first day where I experienced this laughing, where I couldn't stop laughing. And I explained it to my mom after work to say, I can't stop laughing. And she was like, yes, that's the joy. That's the joy that comes with the Spirit of God when you're in His presence. And then the second day, um, we came to church. There was an exchange when we had to take out our seeds and give them to you. And when I got back to my chair, I remember just shaking. And I thought maybe it was hunger at first. But I realized the shaking is of a different kind. It's not a hunger shake. And the more I was praying then, my stomach felt like it was burning. It felt like it was on fire. So it had never happened to you that when you pray, you feel fire in your stomach? Never. When I pray, I just pray. I don't feel anything. And how long have you been a Christian? I've been a Christian since I was eight, so about 10 years now. You've been a Christian for 10 years. Yes. But for the first time, you felt the presence of a tangible fire of God yes. in your life. Yes. Did you like it? I loved it. <laughs> Wonderful. Viewers, we are dealing with Gates of Destiny program where we are bringing revelations. There are many believers like Katarina who have been in church listening to a good word, doing the things of God, believing God, but they have never had an experience with the Holy Spirit. The reason why we bring you programs like Gates of Destiny is the fact that God has ordained in the body of Christ different ministry gifts. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter number 4 from verse 6 that to each one of us grace is given according to the measure of the gift of Christ. There are different measures. Then he said when he ascended on high having led captivity captive he gave gifts unto men. Those are the different offices that make up the body of Christ. There are different dimensions of the manifestations of the gift of God. As we are, as I'm interviewing and talking to Katarina, for the first time in 10 years, a, a, a teenager who is 18 years goes to church and feels the presence of God and feels the fire burning. That is what we call the presence of God. Maybe you are viewing this program. You've been going to church all your life. You don't know the experience of the presence of God, the tangibility of the power of God. We are inviting you for the push program from the first to the third. Every time the month is beginning, the first three days, we call them the three days 
that are a labor experience is a time all believers of all walks of life. This is not a denominational thing. It's a prophetic agenda where we call believers to focus on their spirituality. We don't call anyone out of their churches. We invite them on this prophetic platform to actualize destiny. Destiny defined is the plan of God for your life. Everyone listening to us, you can visit our website as you see them on the screen. You'll be able to connect with us come the first to the third of next month. Then you'll be invited to come and encounter the same thing that we are talking about, the glory of God. God bless you. Glory to God, viewers of Gates of Destiny program. It's your host, Apostle Paul Kamba, bringing you Gates of Destiny program, a program that is a prophetic agenda designed by God to bring believers of different denominations and walks of life into a place of actualizing destiny. I want to start with a testimony that I was reading shortly before I came on air. This one is called Lizzie. She said, hi everyone at the MCC. My name is Lizzie and I live in Hillbro. I've been asking myself, how do I testify in this ministry? I was invited at the MCC by a friend to the PUSH program in February 2016. We got to the same church. As I've been complaining that I'm not happy with my life and the way I live and the way things are. I'm single, a mother of three girls. I'm drained. Everything in my house is demanding for me. I'm not happy with my Christianity. I'm not constant in prayer life. I'm not reading the word of God. I realized I had backslidden and it was so painful I did not know how to pick myself up. Even though I tried, I wasn't feeling myself as a Christian anymore. I had a lot of questions and I never had answers. I needed the clarity of why and what happened to me or what was happening. When pushing, the prophet declared that the people who have HIV will become negative. And I received it with an open heart as I was on ARV since April 2011. There and then my heart was convinced that I am healed and decided to stop taking ARVs. On the third day, my spirit was revived. Until now, the symptoms of HIV, I don't have them and I'm not taking ARVs. I decided to attend the Friday healing prayers on the 2nd of Friday, February, almost the end of the service. The prophet said, there is someone who has been dreaming of snakes continually. Then my body froze and I dropped down after that I had him pray for me that the snake will not come to me again and I was free. I started to think back. I have been dreaming about snakes for the past 15 years and time, sometimes twice a week, sometimes many more times. But since that prayer, I have not seen snakes again. I want to give God the glory. Thank you, Jesus, for using Prophet Kamba. I know my destiny has been realized in Jesus' name. We have a lot of testimonies of this type. We bring you testimonies on this program, Gates of Destiny, to authenticate the gift of God under which this vision is being directed. Ladies and gentlemen, viewing Gates of Destiny program, I'm always submitting to you that every ministry in the body of Christ is sent to do particular things. We may do many other activities, but there are key assignments in every church, every ministry that is sent by God, they have a specific mandate to fulfill in the body of Christ. Right here on the Gates of Destiny program, we have an agenda that God has been using for the last two years to bring to birth destinies of God's people into manifestation. I've been explaining that this is a midwife ministry. Midwife being a sensitive word, the same thing midwives do in the hospital and in the clinics we visit when women are pregnant nine months to give birth. This is what we do in this ministry, in the spiritual destinies of God's people. Ladies and gentlemen, every time I get an opportunity to revisit the vision, it was 
2008 when God mandated me to bath destinies of God's people. It was a long fasting and prayer, extended, thinking the following day God would answer me. Many times, if I want an answer from God, two, three days will do for me. If I separate myself and inquire from the Lord over something I need direction on, two, three days brings an answer. In 2008, it was a strange move. When three days ended, God was quiet. Five days came and went. God was silent until then, number 38. From the seventh day, I began taking a cup of warm water, thinking the next hour or the next day I receive an answer from God. Ladies and gentlemen, in that fasting and praying, I needed clarity of the direction that God was speaking. The answers were not coming. On day number 38, having spent 37 days taking water in the evening, I saw a vision where I saw people of every race and color, white people, black people, Indian people, tall and short men and women. They were seated in a big place, like how you'd visit a stadium that is packed with people. And when I reached them, those people were pregnant. And and others were turning and twisting on their seats, signifying that they need to have delivered, but something is not happening. When I arrived at them, I remember vividly the woman that I touched first. She was pregnant. The stomach was protruding so high, and I did not know what to do. Tears were flowing down her cheek. When I stretched my hand and touched her shoulder, just to comfort and strengthen the way we do when we get families and friends that are agonizing. When I touched her to say, be strong, this too shall pass, the woman delivered the baby. Then she began rejoicing. I turned on the other side, saw another man was having a big stomach needing delivery and when I touched his shoulder just to comfort and strengthen him he gave birth after touching four people the vision stopped viewers of Gates of Destiny program. The Lord spoke to me clearly, the same way I'm speaking to you. And he said, God deliver the destinies of my people. From that time until now, our mission, our key mission in the body of Christ is to ensure that the destiny of God's people are brought forth. Destiny is the plan of God for your life. In the word that we define as destiny, we have marital destinies, career destinies, financial destinies, destinies that must be, that are not marriage destinies. People are dating forever and they are not getting their marital destinies breaking forth. People who are on careers that are stagnant and things are not happening. You are the reason I'm speaking in this program. God has ordained and anointed me to bring your destiny to manifestation. Because of the nature of this calling, we have a program that runs every three days that start the month. We call it push program. Push is pray until something happens. This is when we call believers from every walk of life, from every denomination that if Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, he that said in the book of Ephesians chapter number one, that he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, evangelists, teachers and pastors to perfect the saints. This is a platform of perfecting destinies. We invite you from the 1st to the 3rd of April. The midwife chambers will be open. Here we come for 72 hours. No food, no water. You may discover that believers, some come from far provinces. We have people who come in from Pumalang, others come from Eastern Cape, others come from Free State, from everywhere. Mission is to push destiny to manifestation. Any destiny you leave to chances will remain a disaster, like a pregnancy pregnant woman who waits when the bath pains are coming and they are seated in their bedroom. You need to locate a midwife. Even in the spirit, we have a lot of aborted destinies, miscarried destinies. Somebody has been dating the right husband, the right man God sent to them, but at the place of giving birth to a marriage, Satan comes in. Remember, we are not wrestling against flesh and blood and brings confusion. 
in the wedding. Before you know, people were meant to live in a happy marriage are scattered because they never, had, they never fought and found the anointing to birth that marriage. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone viewing this program with a destiny that needs to be actualized. I'm talking to a business that must have shifted from where they are to the next level. Yet there are invisible barriers, evil things that keep mounting up opposition and resistance. I'm talking about promotions. Every time it's your turn to be promoted, at least something happens that leaves you on the same level. I'm inviting you for push April. From the 1st to the 3rd of April, there is the labor world is going to be open. It's a zone where we deactivate mysteries of iniquity, demons that come from graveyards, ancestral spirits, forces that hinder destinies from becoming a testimony. Those are the things we deal with, with fastings and prayer. People have come here with conditions that you cannot explain diabetes, high blood pressure, HIV AIDS, things that naturally would stop you from fasting for 72 hours, no food, no water. Yet we engage because this is a fasting that is called by God, regulated by the Spirit of God that brings incredible testimonies. Don't sit there and wait for God to do something. God is waiting for you to take responsibility of your destiny. After you are 18, your life is your responsibility. These are ministry gifts in the body of Christ that God has ordained to actualize destiny. That's why in the book of Romans, chapter number 10, Verse 10, he said, how shall they preach it unless they are sent? God sends us as ministers in the body of Christ to address different departments in believers' lives. I've been explaining that we have pastoral platforms where we flock every Sunday, every midweek to go get pastored. We have evangelistic ministries. We have been hearing them right here on the screen. People invite you for evangelism, evangelistic meetings, crusades, which are very good part of the body of Christ. We have apostolic platforms where new churches are founded, new organizations come in place, very good. But there are also prophetic platforms that determine the victory of believers. The scripture says, we see not our signs because there are no more prophets. Prophets are part and parcel of the body of Christ. Unless God has released the prophetic anointing, believers may keep on living naturally without tapping into the spirit. I'm calling every believer in the body of Christ whose destiny is a mockery. The people are criticizing even the God you serve because nothing is happening in your life. I'm inviting you from the 1st to the 3rd of April. It's a midwife experience. It's a place you come when you have decided I'm coming out with this new career. My business that has been on the laptop for years, it's going to start. The things that are needed for you to become what God has ordained you to become is what we are enforcing. Every born again child of of God has a destiny. Destiny is the will of God for your life. You need to preserve your destiny. In this very season, in the push program, we normally have prayers that are strategic prayers that are positioned. We normally have our live streaming every push program. You may not even be able to come in the midwife chambers, but you can connect with us with the websites that you are seeing on the screen on www.getsofdestinyministries.org. If you go, you'll find there on our homepage, there is a button that says live. You can stream and just have the experience, the anointing, the presence of God in the midwife chambers when the prayers are taking place place. You will encounter God. People of different walks of life have encountered God. Deliverances in their houses, breakthroughs in their business because of the push program. Don't miss the push of April. I'm inviting everyone for you to connect with us in the push program, it is required that you first of all send us your prayer request. Visit our website and send the prayer request to us. We normally put those prayers one week before the push. Push is three days that start the month. Every start of the month, three days, first, second, and third is push program. Before then, we expect you to send us your prayer request. As leaders in this ministry, midwives, the pastors, 
in this ministry are called midwives. We normally take those prayers in the spirit before you appear in the push program to dedicate and ask the spirit of God to cover them. So you visit our website. If you visit Google on your, on your phone or your laptop or your PC, you'll be able to find gates of destiny ministries. Then you'll be able to send us your prayer request. Then plan to be with us in the services during the push program, particularly people who have high blood pressure, people who are on diabetic medications, people who are on ARV medications, I desire that you come take Holy Communion with us. It's a communion that has defied all wickedness. We pray for that grape juice, and when you drink that communion during the push program, that is the office of the highest physician, the balm of Gilead, the Lord our healer. People have left changed, transformed, people with medical professions, people with sensitive details over their medical lives have received turn around through the Holy Communion in the push program. Everyone viewing Gates of Destiny, therefore, I invite you in this prophetic agenda. You need to make up your mind prayerfully that I'm going to be part of the push program. Many testimonies are shared in this platform. Join the senior midwife, Apostle Paul Kamba, and the midwife's team as they usher you to your breakthrough prophetically. This is a prophetic platform that attracts believers from different denominations to the midwife's chambers. We continue to witness testimonies about dead cancellations, jobs that are secured miraculously, promotions, business breakthroughs, and miraculous healings. Push happens every three days that start the month. That is from the first to the third of every month in the Gates of Destiny headquarters in Edenvale, Connor 4th Street and Van Riebeck Avenue inside Eden Mall, shop number 58. For more information, please call our office on 011-454-5341 or visit our website on www.dmccministries.org.